I was taking a break from editing my next Hoi4 video by watching Hoi4 videos. Nothing was out of the ordinary, but then all of a sudden this video from a certain ISRO guy popped up in my suggestions. So the answer overall to this question is yes. Hearts of Iron 4 is done. Having recovered from the initial shock that only a negative assessment of something you like can elicit, I have decided to retaliate. Isaro's central point is that Hoi4 has been updated so much over the years that it will soon no longer be desirable to add more DLC. Almost all relevant countries in the game, and even many relevant ones, already have focus trees, and you'd be hard pressed to come up with a feature that you think would genuinely improve the game that Paradox could make an entire DLC out of. Isaro then goes on to posit that mods and community support alone won't keep the game alive, and therefore that the fast approaching end of new DLC will mean the end of Hearts of Iron 4. But this is where I'll have to disagree. Paradox Grand Strategy games have an almost mythical ability to stay relevant long after other games their age. Take Victoria 2 for example. It's much older than Hoi 4, stopped getting updates 9 years ago and got its last major expansion 11 years ago, and it still didn't die until its sequel was released in 2022. Now look at this chart. Since Victoria 2 could survive 7 years without support until Victoria 3 killed it, and Hoi 4 has 23 times Victoria 2's all-time peak concurrent player count, I'm more than confident enough in the vigor of the Hoi 4 community to say that the game isn't going anywhere anytime soon. What irks me is that I think Isoro knows this. In the video, he himself admits that the game is more popular than ever, and he reduces the scope of his thesis from Hoi4 is dying to it will die when DLC stop coming over the course of the video. And despite this blatant display of low confidence in his own conclusion, he still desperately wants to claim that Hoi4 is dying. I know I've been pretending not to know for the duration of this video, but I know that Isaro and Isaro Productions are the same person. I know that the Isaro who is counter-signaling my map is, is the Isaro Productions who has spent the last 8 years playing it. Hearts of Iron 4 is apodictically a great game, and I will keep playing for the foreseeable future despite my very respectable hour count. That being said, I understand that a man less special than me would get tired of the game after playing it full time for going on a decade. It's fair to assume that Isoro wants Hearts of Iron 4 to die, whether he knows it or not, which is fine. It is okay to want to make something other than Hoi 4 videos after 8 years, and it is okay to feel burned out. What is not okay is letting these thoughts distort your view of reality by making you see death where there really, really is none. Hearts of Iron 4 will probably not last forever, but despite what Isoro thinks, this just means it's mortal. It doesn't mean it's dying.